All right, welcome to another YouTube video. This is Eden over at Prosper and Beauty. Today we will be talking about the benefits of green tea and rooibos for skin care. Now when you make most herbal teas, they're only going to last in the fridge a couple of days if you don't preserve them. You'll start to see them sort of starting to smell different or taste off or something like that after like the third day mark usually. Uh, there are three exceptions that I know of. One is cat's claw, the second is green tea, and the third is rooibos. Those uh, teas, especially if they're strong, will keep in the fridge for, you know, weeks, literally weeks. Um, I've seen them last as long as 30 days and the, they still smell fresh, they still smell vibrant, they still um, are potent. Okay, so that's just the antioxidant power. Both green tea and rooibos are packed with antioxidants. So when I observed this phenomenon going on in the fridge, I was like, wow, imagine what that's doing for me inside. Okay, and there's plenty of research to back this. I'm not going to go into the research backing the antioxidant value of green tea um, and or rooibos tea. So um, it also works really well topically. Even if you just made a tea, a concentrated tea, and you just put it on your face in between after your toner and before your serum or before your daily moisturizer, whatever that was, you will start to notice a glow and um, a sort of your elasticity returning and so forth. And just kind of, you'll notice the anti-aging effect of it. So it's always great to add in lotions and creams. And uh, I have a line for anti-aging skincare that's specific for the desert climate. And I love to put it in that because you really need a lot of um, antioxidants and anti-aging factors when you're living in the desert because the climate is so severe and so harsh on the skin. So I'm just going to show you how to make a simple green tea and rooibos extract at home. Okay, so this is what green tea looks like. This is an organic green tea. It's a gunpowder green tea. That's the one I prefer to use. Um, it has the most sort of neutral smell out of all the different ones. Um, it's high in antioxidants, not much higher than any of the other varieties, but you know, it's potent, it's clean, it's simple, it works well with a lot of different things, doesn't have a lot of fragrance issues. And this is just what the rooibos looks like. See that beautiful red color? And it's also very hydrating. Rooibos is superiorly hydrating to drink. Um, if you're in a dry situation or if you play sports and so forth, there are even some sports drinks that have been made out of rooibos. Uh, so it's giving that same sort of um, thirst quenching quality to your skin. All right, so without much further ado, you just kind of take a handful of the uh, gunpowder green tea, an equal amount of rooibos, um, and you'll find that the green tea will swell up a lot. So, you know, even though it doesn't look like much. And I want to make it really, really, really strong, okay? Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and... Take this. I pre-boiled the water just to make this fast for you. I'm going to pour the water into the green tea. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a lid on it and just shake it up a little bit, not too much. And as you can see, it's already starting to swell. Um, and the, the redness from the green tea, I mean from the rooibos tea, uh, is already starting to darken the water. So I'm going to leave that like that for about four hours and then um, by then it will be cooler. I will add some preserve, I'll strain it, I'll add some preservative to it so it can last for six months in my fridge as opposed to just the one month. And then it's ready for use in my skincare creams. So if you want to learn how to make anti-aging skincare for the desert or just anti-aging skincare period, feel free to opt in below and I will give you some pointers on how to do that. 
and also I have a course specifically for uh, taking care of your skin in the desert. It's ideal for women of a certain age. It's ideal for snowbirds who find that they're usually in a you know, more moist climate and they come to Arizona, Utah, Nevada, uh, New Mexico. Or if you're maybe an expat, expat and you are working in Saudi Arabia or Dubai and you find that the climate is really harsh on your skin, this is a great way to learn how to make skin care easily or how to source skincare that has the right ingredients for that climate. Okay? So you can just opt in below. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in another video.